What's up, YouTube? Uh, Mech here. Welcome back to the uh, Bearded Mech channel. It is Friday, and we are doing a beer review. I don't have the beer review recorded previously. What? Usually, I have it done uh, before now. Um, but it's been a busy week, so uh, we're recording it on Friday. Um, and today, uh, we're going with the Smutty Nose. Old brown dog. Cute little fella. Um, this is a beer that I've had before. Um, a couple really good uh, restaurants around my area have it on tap. And I believe it's also, yeah, it is. It's a New Hampshire brew. Um, so, like I, as I like to say, it's in my backyard, brewed uh, right here in my home state. Um, so without further ado, let's hop over to Beer Advocate and see what they have to say about it. Um, and a little side note here, um, lately I've been talking about how, um, I've been doing so many IPAs and so many, uh, like, summer, you know, summer style ales, um, or, you know, beers in general. I feel like it's been a lot of ale, it's been an ale summer so far, um. But I've been doing a lot of those types of beers and I felt like they're all kind of getting to be a bit uh, monotonous. They're very uh, citrusy. Uh, they tend to be very like, you know, lemony, orange, grapefruit, just a lot of citrus and a lot of hops. And I wanted to try something a little bit different. Um, like I said, I've already tried this one before, but I wanted to get it on the beer view here on the beer and rec channel. So, um, on beeradvocate.com, uh, Smutty Nose Brewing Company, uh, in New Hampshire. It doesn't say for some reason on Beer Advocate where exactly in New Hampshire they are, but I bet if I look at the bottle here, it'll probably tell me. Yes. Hampton, New Hampshire. Uh, which is a very popular spot. If you're not from here, it's a very popular spot to go to the ocean, uh, right down the seacoast. Um, so that's good to know. I want to check their brewery out sometime. You know, watch out, Smutty Nose. We're going to come check you out. Um, uh, style, of course, is American Brown Ale. I'm a big fan of those. Uh, I feel like just ales in general I'm a big fan of, but a brown ale, um, very much different from uh, those summery uh, IPA type ales and the citrus and all that. And we'll, we'll explain that a little further in a minute. Uh, the ABV is a 6.70, um, and in fact, when I was looking up this beer on Beer Advocate, uh, the first one that came up was uh, a very old brown dog, which I'd never heard of, and I'm like, what the hell is that? This is old brown dog, not very old, so I looked at it, and apparently the very old brown dog is a variation of this one, but it's got a higher alcohol content of an 11% ABV, so... I don't know where I can find that, but it'd be pretty, pretty cool to be able to check it out. So maybe uh, someday we will. Um, availability is year-round. This is one of those beers where they just, you know, your local grocery store is going to have it. Your um, your local, you know, sort of specialty store um, that has a lot of the more local beers. Um, this will have it, uh, or those will have it. And like I said, you know, there's a lot of really nice... Um, uh, restaurants around the state of New Hampshire um, that have this on tap. Um, it's a very popular brew, from what I uh, from what I can tell myself. Um, so if you are in the Granite State of New Hampshire, then um, look out for this one. It's a it's a great one to try, especially on tap. I actually have not had it on tap yet, and I plan to do that um, the next chance I, I have. So uh, the beer advocate score is a 3.93 out of five, which is very good. And uh, a little bit of a notes we have here. Old Brown Dog has been cited as a classic example of the American Brown Ale style of beer. Compared to an English Brown Ale, Old Brown Dog is fuller bodied and more strongly hopped. Uh, I must agree right off the bat. Well, even Without even tasting it right here in front of you, I have to agree. Uh, I don't think we've read any info on the American Brown Ale, so we'll say it right now. Uh, 
American brown ale, roasted malt, caramel-like, and chocolate-like characters should be of medium intensity in both flavor and aroma for the American brown ale. American style brown ales have evident low to medium hop flavor and aroma and medium to high hop bitterness. The history of this style dates back to U.S. home brewers who were inspired by English style brown ales and porters. It sits in flavor between those British styles and is more bitter than both. And that calls to uh, to mind reading that. Uh, porters. I'm a big fan of porters as well. And I don't think I have any porters on the channel at all. So we're going to have to do some of those real soon as well. So sounds good. And the bottle, you know, it's pretty generic, actually. The the box was very generic, too. It didn't really say much about the beer at all. And New Hampshire Craft Brewery. You got your government stuff there. Um, on the side... Eh. <laughs> on the side here, you just have uh, Baldwin Brewed Smutty Nose Brewing Company, Hampton, New Hampshire, USA. Uh... And that's all there is to it, really. So. Take my, my big old Sam Adams bottle opener. See if we can get this in here. Two points. Cool. So we'll get a we'll get a pour on, get this mic out of the way. We're using the keep calm and have a beer glass. We are gonna do just that. Uh, it's got a tiny bit of a head. I didn't do uh, a, an overly rough pour, really. Um, but it's got this nice, uh, very, uh, I, I wanted to say very dark, but it's kind of like, it's dark, but it's not. It's it's like it's a reddish brown color to it, especially with the light coming through, um, with a kind of a frothy off-white head that's already kind of you know gone down quite a bit. It looks really dark, probably to you, but with the light shining through it, to me, it's a beautiful, just red brown color. Very very nice, um, and. We've already learned, um, if you've seen some of my uh, reviews I've done recently, smell is not very smelly until you have a chance to have enough room in the glass to kind of uh, swish around the beer. So we'll give it a smell anyway. And there's not much smell to speak of, really. You can definitely get some of the hops in there and kind of the, the roasted malt character, which is um, definitely what you get in these kinds of beers anyway. But until we have enough room in this glass to switch around and kind of agitate it, we're not gonna really know. So without further ado guys, cheers. Let's try out the uh, old brown dog from Smutty Nose. When you first taste it, it's interesting because it's got this nice um, roasty character as soon as it touches your mouth. It almost reminds me of the Smittix Red Ale that we tried uh, a few weeks back. It was several weeks out, actually. It was like probably two months. But it was, um, it's got that sort of like roasty roasty but bitter at the same time when it first touches your mouth and then you're starting to get the typical caramel and chocolate malts uh in back of it but they're kind of um 
They almost taste kind of muted. It's like the 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 caramel and chocolate type malts. They're there for, and then they're gone. Like <clears throat> it's like it's very subtle. I feel like you're getting more of the roasty malt um, kind of feel in your mouth as soon as it hits you, and then just throughout, and also in the finish too. The finish is actually quite dry. Um, you know, depending on your uh, preference, is it is fine. And I almost kind of feel like... I'm not sure where it's coming from, but it almost has almost like an acidic uh, kind of uh, after... Not aftertaste, but like... The mouthfeel, it's just, it's not smooth at all. Um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I mean, you're gonna get lots of smooth feels um, with other kinds of beers that are like, you know, lighter. While this finish is kind of dry, it's also very, um, to me, it feels kind of acidic, and I don't really know how to explain it properly. Uh, we have a little bit of a uh, room in the glass here. We'll take one more sip. Let's kind of swish it around carefully. <laughs> And that does bring out more more smells for sure. The song in the background took a weird turn. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, songs, I'm just going with Monster Cat. I usually try to pick one that's a little laid back, and sometimes I you know I, I don't always listen to it all the way through. They take a strange turn at some point, but we're going to roll with it. <laughs> in, in terms of smell, after agitating it with the smell, all I get really is malt. Just ro like roasted malt. Um, there's, there's a touch of caramel in there, but it's very slight. But it's mostly roasted malt that I'm getting in the smell there. Um, and, 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 and hops slightly as well. So, anyways, guys, um, after kind of, you know, digging a little deeper, this beer, I'm not sure where to place it. It's an enjoyable beer. I like it, but I feel like it's not, like it's not something that I would buy all the time. Um, I hate to say it because it's a it's it's a respectable beer, um, and I'm sure it's delicious on tap. But I kind of feel like this isn't something I would go to if I wanted a. Uh, a brown ale so with that said it is very malty like roasted malty but there's a slight bit of chocolate and caramel in there but it fades away very very quickly um, and it has a strange like acidic uh, but dry uh, finish which I'm not a huge fan of but then again it's not terrible either so you're gonna have to try and take it for what you will if you are in the New Hampshire area I'm not positive if they have this in other states. I, I would assume that they have it in like uh, Massachusetts, maybe Maine. Um, you may need to look that up for yourself. But if you're in the area, give it a try. And uh, come on back down and let me know what you think. And give us a like if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe if you want to see more. We post videos uh, every week. We may be changing when the uploads happen. It might be happening on Wednesdays nowadays. Um, you know, changes in schedules and all that stuff. You know how it is. Um, so yeah, definitely let me know. Uh, what do you think of brown ales? Have you had this brown ale in particular? I'd love to know what you think. So thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I'll see you next time. Take care. <laughs>